Hello friends, this video on areas related to circles part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 3. Let's take one example. The wheel of a car are of diameter 80 cm each. How many complete revolutions does each wheel make in 10 minutes when the car is traveling at the rate of 66 km per hour. See, understand what the question is saying. The question is saying that the speed of the car is something we have to find the number of rotations or revolutions actually the number of revolutions the wheel make in 10 minutes. See, one thing we know that circumference is nothing but one revolution. Right? Distance covered is one revolution is called circumference. Since we know diameter, circumference is nothing but pi into d, we can find circumference and then we can find number of revolution that the car make in. I mean the, the number the length or the distance covered by the car in one revolution we can find. Why? Because circumference is nothing but one revolution distance. That is distance covered in one revolution is called circumference. This we know. Why? Because if the car will move from here to here, total distance covered is one revol uh, circumference. Because you see, it starts from here, it goes, 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 come back again to here. Correct? The total distance covered is nothing but how much? One circumference. One circumference is nothing but so, our circumference is nothing but distance covered in one revolution. So, since we know diameter, we can find circumference and we can find the distance covered in one revolution. Now, since the car is traveling at a given speed and, and we know the time for which it is traveling, distance is nothing but speed into time. This formula we know. We have speed, we have time, we can find the total distance covered by the car. So, if we have total distance covered by the time, car, and we know that one revolution is equal to this much distance, we can find the number of revolution. Very simple. Because number of revolution into distance in one revolution is equal to total distance covered. This we know from here, circumference. Total distance covered we know from this. We can find this. That's the approach we'll follow. Okay? Now let's solve this. Now the question says the radius of the wheel is nothing but 80 centimeter. Correct. So circumference will be circumference will be pi into diameter. Sorry, diameter is 80 centimeter. Correct. So then it will be 80 pi. 80 pi will be the circumference of the wheel. Circumference is nothing but distance covered in one revolution. Distance covered in one revolve. Total distance covered. Total distance covered is nothing but total distance. Is nothing but speed into time. What is the speed? 66 km per hour and time is in minutes. And we are talking about centimeters. So let's convert 66 km per hour into centimeter per second, centimeter per minute actually, or centimeter per hour. So 66 km, this becomes meter, this becomes centimeter, centimeter per hour. Correct? centimeter per hour or we can say centimeter per minute also. To come into centimeter per minute, we have to divide by 60. This is centimeter per minute into minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. So if you see the total, uh, the unit of this will be centimeter actually. See what are, we are doing is, we are converting 66 kilometer per hour into centimeter per minute. Why? 
because we are talking about centimeter here and we are talking about minutes here. Time is in minute and the distance is in centimeter. So we have converted this into centimeter per minute and into this much minutes to minutes. So if we solve this, 6 cancel, 11. So what we get is 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 100 centimeter. So you get one more from here. Five. So this much centimeter. This many centimeter is covered by the car. Total distance covered is eleven five zeros centimeter. Now we know that distance covered in one revolution is eighty pi. Correct. So let total number of revolution be n. So let there be n number of revolutions by the car. So in n revolution the car will cover n into 80 pi distance. Correct. Because in one revolution the car was covering 80 pi distance. So n revolution the car will cover n into 80 pi distance. And this distance is nothing but equal to 11 and 5 zeros both are centimeter remember this side and 80 pi this is in centimeter because this is centimeter and this is also centimeter and that is the reason we are comparing had this been meter or kilometer we could not compare then we were supposed to convert those things into single unit so here the unit we are converting into is centimeter now we can solve this to get the answer n is nothing but 1 1 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 80 pi. 80 into 22 by 7. Correct. So if we solve this, this is 11 becomes cancelling. 2. And this 0 is cancelled. Correct. It's 2 by cancel by 10 I can do. So this becomes 5. 1, 2, 3, 0. So this becomes 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, 0 by 8. And I solve that this further, this becomes 4, 3, 7, 5 revolutions. So the car makes 4, 3, 7, 5 revolutions in the next 10 minutes. Got the logic part we have done? We found the circumference. Circumference is nothing but the distance covered by the car in one revolution and we also find the total distance covered by the car in 10 minutes then we say let the number of revolution be n and we say that number of revolutions into distance covered in one revolution is equal to total distance covered solve this to call 4375 revolutions so the car covered 4375 revolutions in the next 10 minutes Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.